Welcome, welcome, welcome. Shrambini here. Welcome to another short review of the Breakpoint series that came out last Wednesday. And we're starting today with the second episode um, of the Netflix series. And the name is Saints and Sinners, where uh, the main character, this guy, Nick Kyrgios in Wimbledon, of course, making it uh, in a deep run, playing this the, the final in Wimbledon against Djokovic. But that's what we're going to talk a little bit later. Guys, if you have not watched the series of the review, so if you don't want to have any spoiler, then just watch it and come back later because I'm just going to review the and, and retell the story what's happening in the sixth episode. So in, in this one, it's uh, it's it continues where it ended in the, in the, in the fifth, where Kyrgios uh, had the encounter against Tsitsipas and asking for a default after Tsitsipas hitting the ball into the stands. Then the match goes on. Of course, Kyrgios wins it in the end. Um, big win for him, of course. And then it starts already where Kyrgios complaining into the box, um, screaming at them, shouting at them. And I was always curious because you couldn't hear it with an Australian accent quite well what he said. But now the series reveals what he said. And he said something like, uh, guys, I need your support. Uh, you have to stand up every point. Um, so he's screaming, really asking for support and giving giving like the, the emotions to Nick because he needs, he needs kind of these... Uh, He's pumped um, uh, atmosphere and he says he needs energy. So give me some energy, stand up. That's what he uh, asked for. And that was that was for me the most interesting part of this of, of this episode because I really was curious what he's actually screaming to the people. Is he mad about himself? Is he mad at them? And yeah, he was definitely mad at the team that they are not uh, giving 100% support. Also to mention that uh, Stefano Sitsipas said that Kiki's approach to tennis is an uneducated way. And it curious brings the NBA kind of attitude to the sports. Um, there was a little bit of controversy also on uh, Twitter, where Tsitsipas, right after the episode came out, he said he didn't want to be disrespectful. He didn't want to put any like racist kind of uh, topic into that, and he want to clarify things. Uh, Kyrgios reacted quite uh, quite uh, chilled uh, on Twitter. He said, "Hey, we're he we're getting heated up in these press conferences. No worries, uh, it's all good." Uh, then in this uh, in this episode also they talking about Anshubur after she was winning Madrid um, coming to the grass season as a yeah a big star of course the first uh, African lady that uh, winning winning a big big uh, trophy and then uh, sponsors after her so they just show a little bit of ons and behind the scenes uh, that she's a very nice girl and I can 100% agree on that I had the chance to meet her personally several times when she was not that. Um, let's say famous and uh, successful so very very nice very very nice um girl um also they showed a small part of serena williams playing in eastburn and she played with on so that's how they put on in the whole picture of that episode where she played uh and also won um in in the doubles of the tournament but some matches um then of course Rybakina losing to uh sorry Rybakina winning to Tom Lianovic in the quarterfinals that's also the part where they continue that story that is started in the fifth episode and then also during that time uh the um assault from Kyrgios the he was um in trouble because the ex-girlfriend um, accused him that uh, he was assaulting her. And then, of course, Nikos uh, just in a press conference, he said um, he talked to his lawyers. And at that moment, he don't want to say anything to the accusations. And uh, yeah, that's more or less where the whole series um, ends. Um, and once again, like fully packed, of course, a lot of tennis. Uh, as I said, for me, very interesting, the situation with Kyrgios and the box, because didn't know what he was saying in that time. For those who have not seen my first one, uh, the first review, there's a Breakpoint Series 2 coming out in 2024. So already they're planning and recording already players. As I said, Holger Rune in Monte Carlo is for sure in the series. So they continue and take probably some new players um, that I would also wish they, they would have would have done it here um they yeah took the same players as they did in the first in the first five um episodes and now episode f um yeah six to ten is um also the same players um yeah that's it guys what do you think about uh that series if you have watched it then um put it uh, in the comment what do you think about it um and what do you think about Kyrgios uh, really screaming and asking for more support? For me, a little bit uh, questionable because the team, if they know that he needs it, then they have to 100% go behind him, after him, and, and push him to the limit. So that is just my opinion, guys. 
Uh, that was it. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. I'm out. Ciao, ciao.